It's Iñaki Godoy, actor, rapper, and professional TV sailor. What's up, Cobra Kai fans? If you thought you'd seen everything Netflix has to offer, hold on to your GI. Are you a fan of Netflix One Piece live action series? Well, either way, today we're talking about a crossover we never saw coming. What happens when the Straw Hat Pirates sail into the dojo of Miyagi-Do? Well, you're about to find out because One Piece's Iñaki Godoy, aka Monkey D. Luffy, paid a visit to the set of Cobra Kai, and trust me, it's nothing short of legendary. With today marking the first day of Netflix Geeked Week, leading up to Thursday's huge fan event live from Atlanta on Thursday, the streaming service is giving the star of showrunners Joe Trax and Matt Owens, Netflix, Tomorrow Studios, and Shuisha's live-action series adaptation of manga creator and series consultant Eiichiro Oda's One Piece a chance to join the Karate Kid universe. And in case you didn't know, Inyaki Godoy is a huge fan of Cobra Kai's creators, Josh Hild, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg's Ralph Macchio and William Zabka. So, he got the golden opportunity to hang out with the cast, spar with Zolo Mariduena and Jacob Bertrand, and even train with the Cobra Kai stunt crew. Yeah, that's right folks, Luffy brought his gum gum powers to the Cobra Kai dojo, but the real question is, can Miyagi-Do techniques keep up with the gum gum punch? Netflix, being Netflix, went all out for this crossover. They designed a custom One Piece themed GI for Inyaki and even decked out the cast in some pirate inspired gear. Inyaki was like a kid in a candy store meeting the cast and who wouldn't be? We're talking Zolo Mariduena and even Martin Kov, Kreese himself. Oh, and did I mention that Jacob Bertrand visited the One Piece set before? Yeah, these worlds are colliding in the best way possible. Now, Inyaki didn't just come to take selfies and call it a day, nope. He got his hands dirty, or, well, his fists, because the Cobra Kai stunt team gave him a crash course in how to strike first, strike hard, and show no mercy. He crushed it. The guy even took a shot at breaking boards with his bare hands. Someone get this man a black belt. But it wasn't all business. Zolo decided to give Inyaki a little behind-the-scenes tour of some iconic Cobra Kai locations. First up, the LaRusso house. But you know what? Solo revealed the show's secret that they actually rebuilt the LaRusso's house entirely on a studio lot after all the damage from the infamous season 3 brawl. You know, the one where the Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do kids trashed the place like it was a college party gone horribly wrong? Yup, Zolo and Inyaki stood in the LaRusso house reminiscing about that iconic brawl scene. Zolo even tried to share his favorite Cobra Kai moment from the series, but Inyaki definitely came prepared with his banter game. To top it all off, they headed to the legendary Miyagi-Do dojo and revisited Miyagi's iconic car, goofing around after where Inyaki learned the ultimate secret martial arts technique, wax on, wax off. This was good enough because actually, who needs devil fruit powers when you can learn the ancient ways of Mr. Miyagi, right? Solo even acted like a retired student turned sensei, teaching Inyaki the technique as if he were Miyagi and Inyaki was Daniel. Hilarious, right? You know there have always been rumors swirling around the internet that Zolo Mariduena would play Portgas D Ace in the One Piece live action series, and after seeing these two together, I can totally see it. They're practically like brothers. In fact, I'd go as far as saying that Inyaki could have been Miguel's brother in Cobra Kai at one point. How epic would that have been? Luffy vs. Robbie, Hawk or Quan? Come on Netflix, make it happen. So, what did you think of Netflix's idea to throw these two iconic worlds together? Are we about to see more crossover madness? And what's your favorite moment from Inyaki's visit to the Cobra Kai set? Let me know in the comments. And hey, there is a full video if you want to watch it all, head over to Still Watching Netflix YouTube channel. Trust me, you do not want to miss it. You see, I couldn't upload the original video because, well, Copyright policies are as strict as crease, but now you know where to find it. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to strike that freaking like button, drop your comment below and smash subscribe. Until next time, wax on, wax off and stay Cobra Kai strong.